All right, all right. So in this one, we are learning how to get a really smooth looking image while retaining contrast. So fade in the shadows, fade throughout your entire image, but we need contrast. Otherwise your image will look washed out and just look a bit flat and not very nice. So stick around and we will go from this to this, getting this really nice smooth look to your entire image. making your subject pop, dynamic lighting with filters and stuff like that. So don't go anywhere if you want to learn how to get this really smooth look that people really struggle to get or really desire to get, but they're really messing it up by just missing little things that you, you'll you see that we do throughout this video. So excited to get into this one. This one, we have Gabriel again. So fade in the blacks is super strong. Yeah, blue tones, there's a bit of that and there's a bit of warm tone. It's not super strong though. Particularly like is just how well he executes that smooth look of faded shadows and they get really nice into faded flat highlights as well. Retaining contrast as well and we'll go over how to do that. I will link his presets down in the description and his LUTs uh, settings. So 2.8, yeah, some depth of field, uh, 70 mil, probably just the length to fill the frame, uh, quick shutter, um, no need for a high ISO. Okay, okay, so the first thing, we're obviously a bit dark, let's brighten it just to like get close-ish to where we want to be. That, and then let's just cool down the image a bit, it's just a bit warm. Now we've got too many blues, I just real quickly will come down here and let's drop the blues. Okay, so I'm going to drop the contrast here because when I turn the curves on and go through the curves with you, they are going to add in a lot of contrast. These curves, contrast, and then obviously we've got this fade here. So this is what's creating the fade down in the blacks here. So we've got no drop off to the whites or anything like that. So back up here, yeah, contrast down, maybe just there, shadows. So, so much of this is going to be filters and stuff, so this stuff's still important, but a lot of the dynamic lighting is going to come from filters later on. Whites for a bit of a pop good good texture so you can see what texture does we don't want this blur we want a bit of a grit but then we're gonna have this real soft glow with the, with the clarity it suits the misty look we're going for let's go into some colors so this is yellows there's not many yellows let's just drop all these by a bit but it's just like none of them in the image a little bit of reds on the back of the car and stuff so about there so they're not overwhelming uh, let's just roughly bring these in line with the other ones yellows no punch maybe a tiny bit maybe oranges not really blues okay so we're gonna get a so luminance is the brightness of your colors let's just put a punch to those blues purples a little bit let's go on to split train so there is a bit of color involved here so what i'm looking for is like the warmth down here at the moment it just looks so cold so we're gonna go a bit of warmth Let's go only a tiny bit and that's all you need but in the highlights but we're just going to slightly call off the highlights as well so it's pretty it's actually very subtle the amount there and then we've got the blending over to the right so favor those cool tones very subtle in this image like off on um, warm and cold split okay so sharpening we're gonna keep down we like the texture for that okay at this point you're probably wondering should i do this this or this in the curves why do an s curve why use the curves instead of sliders what's the difference between curves and sliders why also do an s curve in the color channels what part of the curve affects what part of the image which curves create what style and why use the curves for this instead of any other tool i am teaching people how to get beautifully smooth silk key finishes to the edit whether that's a fade or a matte look in your image it has to be done with curves quite often it's a combination of sliders and curves so if you want rich colors and smooth silky contrast a real nice finishing look to your images then curves are super super important and that was the start of the reason i created the course that now has over 1000 of you guys in it now pretty crazy and by following this formula and this structure i've put together you will get the exact edit you're trying to recreate the reason this is guaranteed is because you get the 
the preset, the raw image, and the lesson from over a hundred photographers. It's more value than a hundred workshops. It's really important because presets are just one one little thing in this very big puzzle, which is photo editing or color grading. Read the testimonials and watch the video testimonials of over a thousand students that have been through their experience. And if it's answering the problems you're dealing with with editing, whether it's the colors, the contrast, the curves, I don't even know where to start. So watch those and if you're still not sure, make sure you watch my free training one hour to get you started in the right direction. Also watch my two hour live training where I break down a ton of things, there's a ton of value in there. And if you're still not sure about signing up, there's a 100% money back guarantee because no one ever actually takes the guarantee back because uh, it's my absolute best value I have that I've put three years into and it is the best content that you cannot find anywhere else on the internet and then there's just a ton of guest editors continually getting added so no one wants to lose access to all this future value like the most recent guest editors is Josh Ball and I'll put up photos of the most recent guest editors and here's one of the future guest editors and there's a ton of free bonuses raw images for these youtube tutorials there's presets and like i haven't even mentioned the video color grading that is also in the course where i teach and also has guest editors so it's a crazy amount of value of exactly what i wanted when i started but the price does increase as value keeps getting added get in as soon as you can so i'm just super stoked this course and this youtube channel has become the number one place in the world to learn master color master getting the style you want to your photography video color grading so i haven't done one of these videos in a while now but it's just like super amazing that's what this course has become with over a thousand people in it now down in the description guys and let's get back to this tutorial and before we go any further let's enable profile corrections good and we definitely want a vignette with so much darker down the bottom it's quite a bit of framing and there's a slight vignette up top so down protect the highlights from from the vignette, feather it out to make it less obvious. Midpoint, so bring it in. So the filters, so starting with this one up here, off and on, that's where it's affecting. Make some pop with the highlights. Um, let's drop the dehaze for a bit of a glow. Okay, 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 on to the next one. So this one here, it's kind of affecting the subjects, kind of want to bring the subjects out. So let's go exposure and then down to this next one. So this one's very important. So it's affecting the bottom there. All we want to do is just exposure down. So this really, really frames our image. Adding to the foreground we've got here and it lifts your eye up into the composition. Okay, up top, bring down just to frame our subjects a bit more so that your eye doesn't get lost up top. I also want it soft and glow. Like so let's go with something like that. And then this one here. So it's affecting all the mist and stuff around the cars. So what we want to do is I'll show you what whites do. So that really makes them pop. And then clarity is going to really bring out the detail of that mist. Okay, and then just one more down the bottom here. So what we're going to do is again darken a little bit. And then this last one here, more detail to the cars making them pop. So if we say if we bring shadows down, you can see like they just stand out way more. It just adds so much more contrast. Okay, sweet texture brings them out and then clarity brings them out a bit as well. And there, let's see how we look before, after way 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 better um yeah that's it looks exactly the same as his one on instagram and yeah that's it for that one comment down below who you want to see on this youtube channel that's how i find people reach out to them they send in the image i do a tutorial on them just make sure you've watched my free training there's a free live training as well that has heaps of value for two hours free one hour training and then i'm also working on a free training on how to use presets 
as well but if you want to jump straight into the course there is over a thousand people and you can watch all the student interviews the testimonials of people that have already been through it. it's quite obviously the best editing course in the world for learning color and photo editing and color grading because it's the only thing i've worked on over the last three years and we have over a hundred uh, photographers teaching in it where you get the raw image preset and the lesson and there's no other course like it with this much value more value than 50 workshops so you can start off for free go through the free training you'll get a really good understanding of color so i just really want to help people learn what i've learned over the last six years or something and compress it maybe you can learn it all within one month if you really really apply yourself i will completely cut the learning curve for everyone that has the same passion as i do or love editing as much as I do and just how it can create a very bland unusable image into possibly one of your favorite so that's it guys and catch you in the next one